welcome to AM Alcohol. Here are your hosts, Logan Wolf and Colin Wolf. Hey, 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 everybody. What's up, everybody? We got a, we got a special guest with us today. Yep, new guest well, on not, the show. Not that special. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourself over there, sir? Uh, my name is Jared King. I'm a longtime listener and a uh, fan of the show, so I'm excited to be here. Dude, I'm exci- <laughs> Dude, who just ripped ass? <laughs> I don't know. What that me? smells like shit, dude. What me? All right, anyway. Might have been me. Dude, I'm very excited to have you on the show, Jared. Let's, uh, I don't know. We haven't opened our beers yet, but I'm already cheers. cheersing. So. Yeah, <laughs> let's get into that. Right away. Uh, Jared brought the beers today. Um, always like it when the guest brings yeah. their selection. Excellent. So, uh, you want to tell them what you brought? Well, you know, it's Sunday, so I thought we'd get a little holy, and I brought a <laughs> Holy Moses Raspberry White Ale. Never had it. Don't know if it's any good. But you know, I've seen this on the shelf a couple times, but I'm I thought, nah. <laughs> 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 nah. It's a Great Lakes beer. Um, I saw... 6.2%. So. But what better time to drink this That's right. than right now? It's a That's summer right. day, you know, a nice little fruity beer. Yeah, exactly. Pop mine open. And it's uh, 11.40 on a Sunday. It's 11.40 on a Sunday. <laughs> That's not the words. It's 11.40 on a Sunday. Sunday. You know when, like... Logan's going to pop that beer. Then he's going to pass the... Bottle opener to Jared, <laughs> so he can pop his, his beer. <laughs> la, da, 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 da. All right, um, let's uh, cheers it and beers it. I'm excited. Congratulations. Mmm. Hey. Raspberry. Better than I thought. Very raspberry esque. <laughs> What do, yeah. you th- what do you think about it? I don't like raspberry flavor. Oh, well. But I'll uh, drink it. It's not bad. Well, it's not like it hits you in the face or anything. It's, no, uh, it's ra- subtle enough. So we, uh, I can sip on it. You're familiar with the Barstool pizza reviews? I listen to Barstool stuff on YouTube all the time. Like, I love Pat McAfee. Yeah. He's one of my... But I've, I've seen the pizza reviews. Okay. I, I don't remember the We've kind of started doing that for beer, so... Yeah. Okay. We're just, we just rate On your whole beer try. scale, whether, you know, you like uh, wheat ales or you like... Just where it falls in your beer scale. Like, so. lump it in with everything, like IPAs, uh, porters, stouts, I mean, anything. Not yeah. an IPA guy, so that's at the bottom of the list. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, this well, beer for what me... Is, what is this? This is a ale, a white ale. ale. Yeah, it's yep. a or, yeah, white ale. I think I said What is a white ale? What's that mean? I don't know. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had knew, like, what certain, like, beers that are called, like, well, what it means, like, their process of doing it. Yeah. I should learn that shit. It's like you got white bread and you got wheat bread. <laughs> I suppose you're you right. Because I've, white ale. I've had yeah. white IPAs and white IPAs are good. Yeah. So whatever. Um, we'll move on. Um, let's score these. For me, hose. this is probably, well, I've had much worse, but I'm not a raspberry fan. It's probably like a 4.8 for me. What's, just just, un, just under like decent. Jared, what, you done fucked up. What's, what's the scale <laughs> too? Like. Zero, zero to ten, ten. and zero to ten. decimals are you know yep. figure skating Fra- scores fractions yep. are involved. Give it a six point seven. Wow, nice. That's really yeah. good. He's I, a fan. I like raspberry flavored stuff. Yeah. Raspberry is yeah. my favorite fruit. Yeah, so. it's all subjective. Um, given the conditions that it's like summer, I think that goes into my score here. It's like, and it's Sunday. It's holy. Oh, I'll give this a generous five point seven. I'll take all it. All right, we're uh. Four, five, six, pretty much. So. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah, it is a it's beautiful a day. day. This got... is the first podcast from the Wolf Den for this year. Yeah. We were finally able to open it up and blow the stank out. I and... love... <laughs> <laughs> That's always and, such uh, a relief, like, whenever you can open up the fucking windows after right. winter and shit. It's like, right. oh, my God, it reeks in here. Yeah, so um, it's exciting. I like doing this Me out here. Me too. It's fun. We'll probably do a couple more out here, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Um. Got a question for you guys, um, and I know a lot of people have like strong opinions about this, so I wanted to get your two cents worth. Um, how do you guys feel about toilet seats? Not <laughs> <laughs> cushion toilet seats. Um, I don't. They're whatever. I don't really. Know. I don't really. You're the first person to be like, uh, either it's a definite. I love them yeah. or. No. Some people think they're nasty. Like germaphobes fucking they absorb hate all them. the 
I'm not a germaphobe by any means, but I'm completely against them. Really? I'm the guy who wants to hop in bed when the sheets are cold. I love cold sheets. Oh, yeah. yeah. Same with my toilet seat. I want my, my cheeks to get a nice little cool breeze. So you're, when a, yeah, you're, like, you're a sleek guy yeah, with cheeks. Those, those cushions just get it way too hot, sweaty. I think I'm... I agree. And I, then you... Fu- dude, in the summer... Oh, the and summer. And then you like stick to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Jared. Fuck those things. <laughs> I kind of like them, but you don't see them everywhere you go, and that's kind, they're kind of like no. an, an anomaly. We have one, which is we have two, so that's all you have. Yeah, and now that I think of it, I'd like to go to fucking no cushion. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it's riveting. It's, it's riveting. It's riveting. Do you also? I'd like to purchase a bidet. Have you ever used I one? I've always wanted to try one. No one's no. used one. I need someone to really about one. this. Yeah. Well, it kind of spooks me. I've no, <laughs> I heard they're awesome. Yeah, I know. They just clean you and they're like, you know. Yeah. It but it shoots water up your sphincter. Yeah, but it's like warm, nice water. I don't know, like how far does it go up there? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I it, don't think you're Or does it just brush the outside? <laughs> I think it just well, yeah, cleans you I'm off. Hoping there's some sort of blockage. <laughs> do you use wet wipes? Or just are you just a dry toilet paper? Oh, just guy? toilet paper. Okay. Toilet paper. Okay. Me too. Yeah, I'm not I think I'm not hipster enough to use wet wipes. I feel like you'd clog your pipes. Well, there's <laughs> there's like flushable ones oh. that yeah are meant for that shit. Ha. Yeah, uh, <laughs> one wipe Charlie's. Yeah, from what from is that Dollar, Dollar Shave Club. Club? I got those once, and I didn't even like because they're like fan. it left like a. <laughs> this is gonna feel weird. You know how like mint feels in your mouth, like peppermint. That's yeah. how it felt on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Like it was like this tingly, like yeah. weird, like feels it feels minty. Yeah. That doesn't even make sense. No, it doesn't. I don't. <laughs> but that's like how that. it felt. Oh God! So your yeah, your I don't. Butthole I was, felt. Like, I wasn't a fan. Yeah, it's like you put mouthwash on your. <laughs> a lot of good ass talk this morning. <laughs> <laughs> One more ass question. <laughs> I don't know why. Let I just asked you a question. I just like to find out other people's like preferences and policies, so maybe I can switch up my game. Do you guys good band name preferences and policies? <laughs> 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 no, that's a good album name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that is a, that's a that's way an better awesome album name. Album name. Um, when you guys wipe, do you fold it or do you crinkle it? I crinkle. Do you yeah. really? Yeah, I ball it up. Yeah, ball both it you guys up. crinkle it. So maybe yeah. I should try that. Yeah. I, I always put it down to the floor, get a little pile going on the floor, cut, crinkle. Damn! Swipe. But doesn't you go make, all the way to the floor with your yeah, man. I'm, I'm a hefty toilet paper guy. Wow! You're if I don't, clogging all, all day. If I don't, I, I've been known to get it on the fingers <laughs> a little some bit. Poop, you know? poop, poop nails, get it under some, the fingers. Some, <laughs> some feces Damn fingers. I think, that, I think that's some shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to try the crinkle game. It just seems messier. No, I don't think so. I think it's uh, I don't know. It's the same pretty much. It's just not. F- Folded neatly. I don't know. I just like to be organized. Like I got a little OCD. Like I count four sheets and then I rip it off and I fold it and then oh, I fold it again. That's way too little for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, we can change the subject. I'm <laughs> about to vomit. I'm a little hungover. I think I've been hungover on every podcast that we've ever done. I definitely have been. <laughs> Colin's notorious for that. Jared, how are you feeling? You didn't, I didn't see you yesterday. I'm good. I, I she is. We uh, got our dryer delivered to our house yesterday. You mm-hmm. know. It's amazing when you get old how exciting things like that are. Yeah, exactly. We did a load of towels, and <laughs> it wasn't – our, our old dryer, the belt was broke, so it, like, screamed at you when it ran. You had to close the door. Yeah, uh, you, can't, you can't be having that. So I got to actually do a load in the dryer with the door open. Fantastic. It was, it was just a hot phenomenal. Load. And then I yeah. uh, went to Sandusky for dinner out back. Did you have a date night? Yeah, sort of. Sort of. I guess. We, have, we only ever go to Outback, apparently, but – I um, like Outback. Dude, their mashed potatoes are fucking fire. <laughs> we we do the Aussie cheese fries all the time. Mm-hmm. Them are so good. And then I got a steak and shrimp. I doubled the shrimp Sick. for an extra five bucks. What kind of steak? It was a center cut sirloin. And then um, I got sweet and tangy shrimp. It was, <laughs> it was so choice. <laughs> it was baller status. It was one of those meals when we left. I couldn't suck my stomach in if I wanted to. Yeah. I gained an extra That's always the best. Just take a nap afterwards. Oh yeah, Colin. Um, what's the worst shot you've ever had? Three wise men. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Um, but like worst. But that was that was three shots. Not, yes. not because no. you 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 know got sick off of okay. it, but like the worst tasting yeah shot that you've ever had. I can tell you, but I don't know what it is. 
I remember what it was called. It was called like horse pussy. What? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds disgusting. Uh, Steven Stout ordered me one at uh, 149. Mm. And this guy, it's literally just a bunch of nasty shit in a shot glass. And I couldn't even get it down. Like, I got it down, but I coughed it, like, and some came back up. Oh, I was like, God. Don't you hate it when you choke on a shot? Yeah, that's Ugh. pretty much what it was. I was like, dude, I can't, I can't fucking stomach this thing. It was so bad. What did it taste like? Was it whiskey? Or? Horse pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was, it was just a, a horse. Yeah, it was a mixture of a bunch of stuff, just fucking revolting Like, just taste. fucking bottom of the... Yeah, I think it was, like, tequila and well whiskey drinks, and, you know, Bottom whatever. shelf. Yeah. I think he put, like, sour mix in to try and... Sweeten it up, but it was like oh, just bad combination. Ouch! What well, about you? That's what you give to young kids, I guess. Getting <laughs> yeah. fucked up. Um, I, it's hard to say because I've, I mean, I've had some bad tequila. I've had some good tequila though too. So mm. I'm not gonna say that. Um, I'm not a fan of. Have you ever had Yukon Jack? No. No. Oh my God! Bad. We used to go through like a phase where it'd be funny, yeah. kind of like the um, wild turkey. The wild turkey, yeah. We would give our friends a fucking Yukon, Yukon Jack. Jack. It was so disgusting. It literally tastes like gasoline. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, gasoline might taste better. <laughs> yeah. That's too, too much, much to fucking get down. It's mine by far is the turkey, and we did so much of it, you know, in college that probably just it was, it was a joke. And, you know, at first it wasn't god awful, and then it, I can't even smell it anymore. See, I was the opposite. I took it so much to where I started, yeah. it was like not even that bad anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now. I mean, not doing it for so long. I had one, I don't know, probably like six months ago or something. And I was like, yeah, it's still fucking yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I haven't been drinking much whiskey lately. And then a close second, no. like Logan said, I've had good tequila and I've had bad tequila. Yeah, there's some the, mad, nasty the, ass tequila out there. I had a shot of tequila on our honeymoon down in the Bahamas and mm-hmm. whatever tequila they had was just absolutely got off. Oh, uh, ugh. I can't do it. I anything. hate the aftertaste if it's bad. See, like there's good, like, uh, is it 1800 or something like that? That's a tequila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit's really like smooth and good. Yeah. yeah. And then obviously the well, like I love the patron. The patron. The that. patron's pretty mm-hmm. you know, decent. I can't even hardly smell tequila. And I hate it so much. If it's clear, what about tequila, margaritas? I'm good, but any dark tequila. Yeah, I, I'm on board with that. The dark tequila yeah. I pass. Yeah. What I've, about margaritas? I've never had a marg. Shut up. Because I don't like tequila, so I'm. What? I don't think I'm gonna like a margarita. You so gotta, I've never ordered one because I don't think I'm going to like it. You got to go to Casa Fiesta to get the Margo, or yeah, Corona Rita. The, yeah, the, yeah, Corona that, Rita. That's, that's so good. good. Yeah. I, that's I'm so like, phenomenal. man, they always look good, but I know what's in it. You got to like, try one, I know. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of like fucking popular things that I have never tried. You need to, come like, on, uh, your life's ticking like away. Like a Big Mac or a Whopper. Okay. I've never had either. That's a Four s- McDouble. That's, <laughs> yeah, you fucking... <laughs> Can I tell that story real quick? <laughs> Hold on. Let me, yes, but that's astounding that you've never had a fucking Big Mac. Yeah. I right. mean, a Whopper, whatever. Yeah. But Jesus Christ, come on. Live, live a little. <laughs> you should have seen his face. He was so disgusted <laughs> with me right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyways, quick quick sidebar. Um, little prop story. Um, Briley has taken me and Jared home the other night, and you know we're all fucked up, and I asked Bri to go through McDonald's because I just want like a French fry. And from the back seat, I hear, order me four McDoubles. <laughs> I was like, four fucking McDoubles? God damn. I texted Tell me I, you didn't finish all those McDoubles. <laughs> yeah. Usually I would. I ate three of them the other night, and I put one in the fridge and ate it about 11 o'clock in the morning <laughs> yesterday. That's a bold move, man. McDonald's? I was well, like, that's after I, the I used next to, day. In college, I did the same thing. Every time I left Brad's apartment and would go home, I always went through Burger King and got like four Whopper Juniors, and <laughs> I can't even God, smell of Burger fucking... King now. Like, <laughs> yeah, I bet not. That's right. I was like, that is three too many McDoubles, maybe four too many McDoubles. <laughs> <laughs> They're delicious. Uh, yeah. A little a fucking, yeah, drunk food. You're, everything tastes you like You got a 10 piece. Shut up. I did get a 10 piece. Ah, you left that out of the story. <laughs> I did. He told me I this forgot it. I forgot about it until you just said that. Yeah, you get a ten piece of nuggets, them rubbery nuggets. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys ever, you guys ever play spin the bottle when you were little? No, 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 no. Really? I only <laughs> who was I gonna play? Who were we gonna play I, with? I only had guys in the neighborhood. Yeah, so. same here. That's just like a typical game that I thought everybody messed never, around with. Never played. Never it. once, huh? Nope. That's too bad. You? Uh, a couple times, but. 
I don't know. I remember you guys playing spin the phone. Yeah, spin <laughs> the phone. But the thing is, whenever we, we have a bottle, whenever there would only be one person that it could land on for each person. I don't know. That doesn't really make any sense. But basically, we could have just like went and did it and took the phone or the yeah. bottle out of the equation. Exactly. Yeah, stupid, stupid <laughs> kid, stupid story. Sorry. That good. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, I love you. So, Colin, are you starting to are you starting to feel the stress of the the wedding yet? Not really. Not really. Are you starting to take care of business? Yeah, reception hall is booked. Still got to book the church, but we think that's handled. So, good. This, yeah, dude, I'm proud of you, man. The stress will come. Yeah, it will. Yeah, come. but I yeah, mean, the Jude, reception Jude's hall has taken care of so much stuff already. Yeah, where yeah. we're not going to have to deal with a lot of stuff that a lot of people do. So. Yeah. Once you get the big stuff out of the way, you know, the big stuff's the fun stuff. It's the, the little yeah. details that suck. Yeah. What about, like, the guest list? I would feel like that's got to be the hardest part, like boxing people out. Oh, I, uh, yeah, you missed the cut. I uh, <laughs> I don't like you that much. I came up with the guest list, like, for my half, and I'm sure I've forgotten people. Yeah. Did I make it? <laughs> You're on it. Okay. But the thing is, I don't think people are going to be that upset No. if I they mean, don't get invited. No, it's... I'll, sometimes I'll be like, "Wow, I'm surprised I'm not invited." But at the same time, I'm like, well, "Good, I don't got to go now." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I came up with like 120 people off the top of my head. Yeah. Usually, like, I don't know. Did you look at somebody else's guest list or anything? Not really. We we Is just it, started writing down names right from the get go, and at the start we were at like 575 people. And we're whoa! Like, yeah, you got to cut no. this back. So, yeah. I mean, we made different rounds of cuts where we continuously just cut people. Yeah, yeah. I worked it down. And, you know, it, that's definitely a hard thing to do because you're like, you know, I've had this connection with this person. Yeah, in but you can't invite a thousand people no. to your party. That's I just mean, no. preposterous. Yeah, I think we'll be around 300, so. Is that standard, you think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that's pretty standard right there. Yeah, nothing crazy, but nothing too small, too. We're right, gonna right in the middle. Are you going to have an open bar, you, you oh, yeah. fucking cheap ass? Better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Riley's like, why don't we just do cash bar? I was like, fuck that. Nobody else did a cash bar. <laughs> no. I was like, I'm not fucking. Have you met my friends and family? Yeah. yeah. Do I'm you not know? even entertaining that idea. Do you know who I surround I think myself she, with? I think she was joking about it just because, mm. you know, alcohol is expensive. But. Oh, I know. That's probably half the battle right there. Not half the battle, but pretty damn near expensive. That and the food. Mm-hmm. Yep. Jared. I'm switching topics. Mm-hmm. Like, once once I feel mm-hmm. like something goes stale, I'm switching it up on us. Doing a 180. I got a question. Have you ever met anybody famous before? At the Depot one time. Well, I've met a couple famous people, but at the Depot is one of my favorite stories, and you probably might not even know who the guy is. (laughs) But uh, Let's hear it, though. He's, like, notorious for being a villain on every show he's on. He he plays the psycho killer guy. And he, he was born in Fremont and grew up in Maumee, though. His name is Robert Nepper. Ooh, does and, that ring a bell? Um, no. He was on... But pri- I remember you I'm telling gonna me this. He was on ass. Prison Break. You ever watch Prison Break? Mm, ever? No. No? All right. Maybe. Forget that. <laughs> um, he was on the mo- in the movie R.I.P.D. He's like on all the Law & Order or uh, Criminal Minds shows. What's this? Robert CSI. what? Robert yep. Nepper. K-N-E-P-P-E-R. K-N. Okay. And he, he just looks like a slimy little sleazeball dude. And he, he was born... He's ew, a very he, nice dude. Dude, you, he does look slimy. I walked up to this him. This guy? Yep. He yep. looks like a sewer rat. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I walked like up to him stylist. and I'm like, I don't know how many fans he gets to walk up to you, but I, I really looks- like your work. And he's like, oh, thank you. And he shakes my hand. I'm like, I want to ask for a picture. I want to ask for a picture. I didn't ask for a picture. I was so upset. <laughs> well, he probably don't get it that often. No. But so. he, I mean, and as weird of looking dude he was, he's with this tall, like blonde supermodel. <laughs> he lady, looks like Jim like, Carrey on meth, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <a little> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was one of my encounters there. I, I've met tons of professional athletes at different events and stuff like that. But, right. Um, but that's a pretty good one. Saw Bill Cower at Disney World one time. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's a random one. That's random yeah. one. But uh, I'm trying to think if I've met. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever met any. I've seen famous people. Colin and I, like, swiped shoulders with Drake Bell once. Yeah. In New York Times City. Square. I, I remember that yeah. story chasing him. I think one of the funniest stories, actually, is... Uh, Parker's purpose a couple years ago, going to the bathroom. It was when Archie Griffin was the keynote speaker, and he's at one of the stalls and he's in the middle one. And Travis Walker and I both walk in the bathroom, 
and we go on each side of him, and Travis just walks up to him. He's like, Arch, how's it hanging, man? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Arch is like, and just, you know, gives a little giggle. He's like, oh, you know, it's going well. It's a great <laughs> event. And I'm just like, I know what to say. Dude, that's the thing, because you there's nothing to say. You don't know the person. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> I like the way you run. What's going on, man? <laughs> what the fuck? Get out of my face. <laughs> Guy number 1,000 to say that to me today. Have you ever been anyone famous, Logan? Not really, man. I'm pretty lame. I think the I'm a loser. most famous person I've ever Baby. met is like John Bucci Gross. <laughs> you met Bucci. him? Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. He came to Official Thursday. Yeah. That's right, with yeah. Uh, Rocket. Rocket. Yeah. yeah. But that's like... Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, actually. it was cool, but yeah. that's like the best I got. Yeah. For those of you that don't know who John Bucci-Gras is, yeah, is that how you a, pronounce it? Yeah, ESPN, ESPN anchor. Anchor analysis I got, lad. I got to have a beer with him at the Varsity Club in Tiffin one time. Oh, yeah? He's a good dude. He seems cool. I like Varsity him. Club in Tiffin? Is there a Varsity Club in Tiffin? Clover Club, sorry. Okay, Clover. Clover. Varsity Clover. Club's Columbus. Columbus. Yeah. Clover Club. I get my clubs mixed up. <laughs> no biggie. No. Hey, uh, I got a little surprise for Jared, though. All right. Um, Let's see it. Well, I downloaded a Mad Lib app. Oh. app. oh. I forgot I even said anything about that. I know. <laughs> you were pretty toasty. You want to see what we can do here? Yeah, let's try one. Okay. I guess I'll, I can just, like, you guys can both chime in with answers, and we'll just we can, it out. We'll alternate. Yeah, we'll alternate. Tag team. All right, so I got a... See what's going on, Mad Libs. I said, hey, hey dang, I what was going the there. fuck's going on? I said, hey, yeah. All right. You guys can talk while I find out how to work this thing. I have nothing to say to him. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, you have anything you want to bring up real quick? Um, I don't know. I'm, like, never prepared for this shit. I just try to... You're good because you like write down notes and remember shit, and then I'll like right. think of something that I want to talk about, and by the time we get to do this, I don't even remember what it was. Talk about, is there any movies that you've seen recently? Oh, we're talking about movies now. God damn it, this app is pissing no, me off. No. The Staircase on Netflix. Have you seen that yet, Jared? Never heard of it. Ooh. It's a good one. It's like a, I see it's it. a documentary about a guy who's accused of pushing his wife down the stairs and murdering her. And, you know, it goes through the whole trial and about yeah. how, you know, obviously he's saying he didn't do it. And there's some twists and shit that happens. Did it's, she die? Yeah. That's all that happened? She fell down? A, she, she got pushed down a staircase? Well, that's what they were arguing. Well, no, they argue that he beat her over the head and then pushed her down. You know, obviously he claims that he was never even, you know, he wasn't at the scene when it happened. Oh, he walked yeah. in and found her like that. And Is it one of those shows where it leaves you, like, one guessing at the end? Or, no. Or well, it? actually, they filmed a lot. This happened back in 2001. So they filmed a lot of it, and then, like, the trial took a long time. Mm -hmm. And then it came to where he got a new trial just a few years ago. So then they went back and filmed that, and it brings you up to current day about what he's doing. And so it it... it it doesn't leave any questions. It okay, tells so, the whole story. Nice. Yeah. So I recommend it if it's like thirteen episodes an hour each. Damn, yeah. that's a long Yeah, it's a long series ordeal, but it's good. Yeah. It is yeah, at least it's good. Well, I got this thing figured out. All right. So, so um the oh shit. <laughs> well, I forget what it oh, it's called a night at the carnival is the name of it. So Sounds fun. All right, so I'm gonna just whoever gives me one first or whatever one's cooler. All right. Adjective. <laughs> <laughs> is that the describing word? Yeah. Like, yeah. Adjective is like describing. Hairy, word. scary. Yeah. Um. He was a hairy bear. <laughs> he, he was, was a scary, scary bear. bear. <laughs> you start, Jared. I got to start it. Yeah, you start. Adjective. Man, I'm like drawing a blank right now. I was so excited for this. And all right. Like well, I'll start out. it off. No, all right. I'll go sweaty. Sweaty. I like it. You guys are terrible at this. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you 30 seconds to come up with an adjective. <laughs> we didn't know we had to come up with an adjective. All right. Plural noun. Um, boobs. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what are you, 13? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it was noun. It's titties. It's good. <laughs> noun. Titties. <laughs> yeah, noun. It could be anything. It could be. Man, I was thinking of a pronoun. Damn. Can you put titties instead? Or is it, <laughs> I can't or can go you, back. You can't go back. I mean, okay. I, I don't want to. Right. Because okay. if I no, actually fuck it up, that's fine. 
Uh, I'll say titties when I read it out loud <laughs> if that helps. Noun. Everything I'm thinking was stupid. <laughs> uh, Dude, anything. Rumple Stiltskin. That's a pronoun. No, that's a that's a noun. Okay. It's a person. Yeah. That yeah. is the I stupidest like thing you could have said though. <laughs> <laughs> Put Rumple Force. I don't even. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing a Rumple Force Hold on. How do you spell that? Rumple. Rumple and then Force <laughs> Duh. This is gonna yeah make no sense. <laughs> Rumple Force That. Wow. <laughs> All right. Another adjective. Um. Gigantic. Gigantic. That's a hell of a good one, Colin. Need help spelling that one too? Yeah. That was, that was, it didn't look right when I spelled it out. Okay. A number. Jared, give me a number. A number? Yeah. Any number. 4,032. Okay. 432. That's 432. All right. 43420. <laughs> Part of the body plural. <laughs> Titties. Titties <would've> <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. Um, how about ankles? Ankles. <laughs> All right. Part of the bo- another part of the body, plural. Armpits. Armpits. Nice. Okay. Uh, adjective. A lot of adjectives in this. Yeah. Um, this how about um, smoky? Smoky. Uh, plural noun. Titties. How long is this? Thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was disgusting. Um, Something, sorry. Boxers. <laughs> I like it. Underwears. Boxers. That's weird how that's plural, but because yeah. it's one thing. Yeah. Pa- well, pants. Pants. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another plural noun. It's killing. Really me. making you guys think here. Hopefully, this is even funny. Um, plural noun. Mm-hmm. Beers. I was going to go with vodkas. Were you? I was Vod- looking at your Tito <laughs> sign right there. <laughs> we'll go vodkas. I've never heard that plural. I've never, <laughs> I've never had either. Vodkas. Is vodka pl- plural as it is, as it stands? Is it one I of those? I think it's like, yeah, go grab the vodka. Yeah. But if there's two of them. I think it's, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll say with vodkas. Vodkas is cool. <laughs> um, verb ending in IG. Fucking. Oh, all right. <laughs> All right, perfect. <laughs> uh, let me come up with one. Okay. Uh, noun. We'll go... Um, uh, eye patch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. I kind of, like, stumped myself. It's weird, like, when you can't think of something, then you think of something like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the direction you were going in. Yeah. Verb ending in IG. Anybody. Anybody. Thumping. Thumping. <laughs> Tub thumping. <laughs> Tub thumping. Thumping. Uh, part of the body, plural. This is going to be a long-ass story, guys. <laughs> Belly buttons. Belly button. <laughs> Belly buttons. <laughs> Belly buttons. Weird. All right, plural noun. <laughs> There's no sign of this ending. I wonder if this is just gonna. Oh, we're like eighty percent done. All right. Um, so let's let's wrap it up. Plural nouns. Tires. 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 <laughs> tires. There goes the tires. Noun. Um, Jupiter. Jupiter. Nice. <laughs> Adjective. I'll go stinky. All right. Do we already do? No, you did sweat. Yeah. Plural noun. Last one. Um, catheters. Whoa! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this better be good. That took a long time. It's probably not gonna be. You did a story without hints. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is gonna be long. All right. All right. A night at the carnival. Read by Logan Wolf. Read. Narrated. Narrated. When my best friend and I go to the carnival, we go on as many sweaty rides as we can before we run out of boobs. (laughs) (laughs) 
Our first must is the roller coaster Rumple Foreskin. <laughs> That's that actually one. made yeah. kind of sense. What what a <laughs> what a gigantic thrill racing down the track at four thousand thirty two miles an hour. That's throwing good. our ankles into the air <laughs> and screaming at the top of our armpits. Not as terrifying, but still smoky fun. All the bumper boxers <laughs> where we drive around like crazy vodkas, fucking into each other. <laughs> By far the scariest ride is the tilt uh, eye patch. It sends us thumping into circles so fast it makes our belly button spin. <laughs> After that, we're happy as tires <laughs> <laughs> to hop on the Ferris Jupiter and enjoy the slow, stinky ride. <laughs> it's a nice way to top off the evening and calm our catheters. <laughs> that, was, yeah, that, was that wasn't bad. bad. I mean, it was better than I thought it would be. Yeah, But that's cool. The roller coaster rumple force. Again. <laughs> After that, I'm going to need a little break. You guys want an intermission? Yeah, that's yeah that works. works. Yeah, yeah, we'll should. come back in, you know, another five minutes or so and call it yep. quits. Our sacks might be attached. Who knows? We'll see. You know. Hopefully. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Goodbye. So, babe, what do you think you want for dinner tonight? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of down for anything, really. Oh, anything? Cool. Yeah. Um. Want to go to Taco Bell, get some tacos? Mm, no, not Taco Bell. No? No. no? Um, let's see, what else is there? KFC, get some chicken? No. Finger no, licking? No, I don't. I don't even really like KFC. Oh, okay. Um, let's go to Wendy's. I'm in the mood for a burger. I had Wendy's for lunch, so... Well, geez, what the fuck do you want? Well, God damn it, Terry, why don't you just go ahead and order something then, if you don't like my suggestions? Jesus. All right, well... Chinese, here we go. Hey, babe, I'm going to order some Chinese. Whatever, Terry. Hey, bro, Chinese dragon. Uh, hi, is this Chinese dragon? No, this piece of hut. Who else you think you call cause a Chinese dragon? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'd like to place an order for delivery, please. Okay, we you come pick up though. We know deliver. Oh, of course, of course. Um, okay. Uh, I need a order of General Sow's chicken. Uh huh. And then I also need another order of egg foo young. Okay. And uh, that'll be it. That's all you want. Oh uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, how about egg roll? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Toss in some egg rolls, please. Okay, one or two. Uh, let's go two. Okay, two a roll. Okay, and mm-hmm. you want uh, the uh, wonton soup? Oh, yeah, yeah. Throw in some soup. Two soups, please. Okay, two soup for you. Okay, and uh, you need a napkin? Oh, yeah, napkins. Uh, lots, please. Okay, rice and napkins. Good, okay. And you want chopsticks or you want fork? What? What did you say? I say you want chopsticks or you want fork. I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? I must be getting a bad connection. Okay, you sound like, you sound like a white boy, so you probably want folk, huh? Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Well, like, we don't even know each other. Don't matter. I just asked if you want folk. Oh, my God. Well, you got me pretty excited. Um, I don't know. Yes or no answer? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. But okay, you be quiet, be quiet. Be quiet, why? Um, how old are you? So I'm 17 years old. Oh, f- oh my goodness. But you're okay. I'm so- I, still, I still give you fork. Okay. That's cool. All right, that's cool. Um, hey, can why well, I got you on the subject, can I ask you something? Okay, but hurry up the moment waiting. All right, all right. Um, what I'm really into is I'd really love to come on your feet and punch you in the face. So what you say to me? I'd love to come all over your Tootsie Pops and blast you right in the temple. I ask if you want a fork. F-O-R-K, fork. Oh, a fork. A fork. Oh, my God. Hey, babe. How's pizza sound? All right, we're back, Colin. We are back with our sacks. They're attached. <laughs> I don't know if 
Well, Jared, you, you being a fan, you probably have noticed that Colin says that every time that we come back yeah. from a break. Yeah. Um, I'm going to insert a little, what, like skit there that you probably just heard. So I hope you thought it was funny. If not, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. If, if not, we didn't see you helping the fucking process yeah. trying to make it funnier. So. <laughs> just kidding. D- don't fuck you. Fuck you, though. Um, all right. Since we're a little more loosey-goosey now. I want to go around the table. We're going to have to back up a little bit. Everyone do their best fart noise. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. <laughs> well, then you're going to lose, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Colin, you go first. Back up a little bit. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> that was trash. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Jared, you're up. Trashy. <laughs> you know, that's that's just the little puffer. Oh my god. Yeah, the. <laughs> all right, these should be hard to beat. But dude, I got a fucking blister right there. I didn't think you want to play. That. You want to play the game? <laughs> all right. Oh, my beard's gonna compromise it too. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. Was that crazy? That was, that was a good. One. Was I worked good. At, Was it really? Are you making fun of me? No, it yes. was pretty good. Actually. Okay, cool. All right, we got that out of the way. All right, um, we usually ask like about this time. Um, how has your experience thus far been on AM alcohol? By the way, yeah, we did make it partially AM. Yeah. Now it's PM, but yeah. fuck it. We started in the AM. It's everything I ever dreamed of. Wow, really? Would you come back? Would you come back? I absolutely would. Right, um, cool. I, I'll never forget the first time I ever, your your very first podcast. And the the, the <clears throat> mimosas with the yeah, wolves? Yeah, and um, I'm in Erie, Pennsylvania on a trip for work with uh, Tyler. And oh, interesting. We get into the hotel room, and you guys just posted it, and mm-hmm. we're we're laying in the hotel beds, listening to it, just crying, laughing. That shit know. was funny. Cause I mean, cause it was we, so awkward. I, there were yeah, the it long was pauses. Awkward. Was we didn't know what the fuck was. It was, it was terrible. It was the funniest thing in the world, just because of how awkward it was. You know, at the time, it was very awkward, yeah. and at times it still is awkward because if you think about it, we're, yeah, what we're just yeah it's like we're it's like we're talking to each other but we're not yeah you know mm-hmm. we're also like we have to entertain people try so to. we can't have any like dead space where we're like we're just looking at our phones and shit yeah yeah so we got to keep the ball rolling yeah which is why when something goes silent i'll just blurt out a random question yeah. like hey what's your do you like pulp in your orange juice <laughs> <laughs> no all right um how about i want future sports picks okay um, I want your World Series matchup, your NCAA football championship matchup, and okay. your Super Bowl. Just your guesses right now, and we can maybe go back and look Should at this episode. Should we write these down? Or, well, yeah, it'll be documented. And so we can we go back and see how close we were or you know, how dumb we uh, were. Which Ooh. one are we doing first? Do, uh, do World Series first. Okay, let's all do World Series, and we'll yeah. all do... Okay, yep. so yep. Well, I know and not by your just favorite team, just by who you actually think will I, be there. So just the matchups? Matchup and winner. Okay. Ooh. I know my AL. I got to think of my NL. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'll i go if you're still thinking. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go Boston and Dodgers. Um, I really want the Dodgers to win finally, but I think Boston's going to take it this year. Okay. I'm going to throw a wrench in it. Houston's not a wrench. I, I say Houston goes back. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. My wrench is Arizona. Oh, that's a good pick. Very good team. Yeah. I would like to see that actually. Me too. That'd be fantastic. Houston and Arizona matchup. would be good. Um, I think it's going to be. I want to say the Yankees, but I don't know if they got the starting pitching. I'll say the Yankees versus the Dodgers, with the Dodgers winning. Really? Yeah. I wanted to pick the Dodgers, but yeah, traditionally, I would hate that World Series if it happened. I wouldn't watch it. Yankees Dodgers. Yeah, I'd watch it. I'd be. I'd, I'd watch, yeah, I'd you watch gotta, it. You gotta watch yeah, it. I'd watch it. What else? But is I'd on? be like, this is stupid. <laughs> Obviously, I'd have Houston winning mine. By the way. Um. Oh yeah. Of course. Oh yeah. Of course. So, Red Sox, Astros, Houston, Dodgers. Dodgers. So we all got different yeah. winners. All right, now go um, NCAA. So college football. Yep. This is hard. This is hard to pick. So not okay. We're gonna have to break down the final four into the finals. Um, Just who you think is gonna be in? I know the final, finals. Yeah. 
Um, dude, this is really, really crazy. This, this is mm-hmm. difficult. I, I don't even know who's good. Um, Alabama. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much a lock. I hope it's not Alabama Clemson again. But Alabama's a safe. I want to put Ohio there. State in there. I really do, just because I think they're going to be good. Yeah, they are. I think they will too. I think they're the best Big Ten team. Their schedule isn't crazy. It's doable. I don't know. There's it's always sure there's doable. always some random team that might. You know, sneak in there. I like their non-conference schedule this year with Oregon State and TCU. TCU. You know, you get yeah, those are pretty two simple. Power fives and stuff. I say that now, we'll probably get yeah. murked. Oregon State's <laughs> fucking terrible though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, someone else go first. I, TCU's I don't... down too, but yeah. still in the name. Who do you think, Jared? Uh, in the finals. Yeah. I'm going to go with the safe pick. Alabama's going to be there. Okay. And hmm. It's tough. I, There's I, so many teams. I'm biased, whatever. I, I think Ohio State will make it this year. Alabama, Ohio State. You really State, think so? I, I, if you were a betting man, you'd put money on Ohio State into the, fi- I, I the think, finals? You know, well, now that you know Zach Smith is fired, you know, maybe. I don't <laughs> know. Heartline's, Heartline's great. So, um, no, I'm, I'll go Alabama, Ohio State, and Alabama's going to win. Alabama wins. I think Ohio State's going to be there, too. I think Ohio State and Georgia – what the fuck was that, that was bug? Huge. Holy shit. I don't know what it when did. it landed, it scared the shit out of me. I thought it was a bee. All right, Georgia. I think it's is a, that a fly? I think it's a horse fly. Yeah, maybe. Holy shit, that's the biggest fly I've ever seen. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> Who'd you pick? Sorry, I cut you off. Ohio State. <laughs> Ohio Georgia. State and Georgia. Georgia. With Ohio. I think Ohio State's going to Georgia? Yeah. yeah. Jake Fromm. Man. Fram. Fromm. You know what? Just because I want revenge, I want um, I want Ohio State in the finals. Just because I'm a fan and I have faith, and I think that they're one of the best teams, mm-hmm. and I want revenge. So, Clemson and Ohio State. Nice. Ohio Clemson. State winning. <laughs> Did I don't know. Yeah, I have all their so we all pick the road all, for. So Dallas. we all Ohio, pick State, Ohio State, Alabama. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's unfortunately pretty right. close. Now, final. Hey, you're a real your, uh, your Super Bowl. Super Bowl, Cleveland. No. <laughs> Thank you, Jarvis. Um, Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. I got a feeling the Browns are <laughs> going, going to the Super Bowl. Bowl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Um, I have Jacksonville. Wow. Yeah. They weren't that far off last year. Yeah. So, they got a great defense. And, uh, but Blake Bortles? <laughs> yeah, he's got a <laughs> Is he going to take it to the promised land? NFC will go Philly returning. Okay. And I'm going to go with Jacksonville winning. Nice. Their defense is second to none. They're yeah, phenomenal. They're nasty. Just hand the ball off to Fournette all day. Screw you, Blake Bortles. I'm not positive on the divisions. I'm between two teams I think, uh, in the NFC. I think St. Louis has a shot. They're NFC. Well, they're LA now, but yeah. All right, yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah. <that's> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there is no St. Louis. Rams and Ram. Uh, is Patriots ACF? Yep. AF- God damn it, Logan. <laughs> ACF. <laughs> what the hell is that? AFC. Yeah. Yep. Dyslexic boy over here. Yeah. Rams and Patriots. That's what I was gonna say, but <laughs> I'll change it now. That's uh, what you were going to say? Yeah, that's I was, amazing. I was between the Rams, so I'll say I was between them and the Saints. So I'm going to say Saints Ooh. or the Vikings. No, Saints and Patriots. Saints. With, that's a good pick. With the, with the I'm, Saints winning. I'm going Patriots. You got to. I mean, if yeah. you're me. Saints, that's a great pick. Yeah. So got who winning? Saints. Saints. Who you got winning? Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Saints, Jacksonville, and Patriots. Patriots. Yeah. Here's so my question. I kind of sold, if, if I the, sold out there. If the Saints win, does Drew Brees retire on top? I'd hope so. Nah. No, I think you he's still think. got some left. It's like 39 or 40. Didn't he just at, sign like a... Look at Tom Brady. Like a three-year Well, game. and I think he's like somehow fucking broke or some shit. I read something about how he got scammed and... Ouch. I'm sure he's not broke, but he's... Probably trying to so make he some might play. I think I did read that. He might like play his, a little longer just to <laughs> get it. It was something weird like his... Maybe his brother was his manager or something, whatever. Yeah. Whoever his manager was like scammed him out of money. Dude, that would suck. Mm-hmm. Now you got to shun yeah, your something brother. like Drew Brees is broke. Now you got to shun your brother. <laughs> That's never good. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we'll have to listen to this. What episode is this? Is this eleven or twelve? Dude, 
Hold on, let me look real quick because I need to know. I think it might be twelve. First right. off, we say he's broke. He's nowhere near broke like R- me. No. Right, <laughs> right. That's what I'm he saying. He has more than three grand in the bank. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Broke is, but for the, his lifestyle and his right. living of what he's got to, you yeah. know, keep up with. Shit, three million. He's like, I'm fucking, I'm broke. Three million. I'm broke. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got a lot of shit to pay for. All right, we're gonna Latrell Sprewell. I can't feed my family. <laughs> Sprewell. I forgot about Latrell Sprewell. Minnesota Timberwolf, great. Casper, you are. Really that's their dog. That's the dog Casper, saying hi. Holy shit, dude! Episode twelve. Twelve, dude. We've been doing this for like a year. Yeah. Once a month, pretty much. I think we might have missed a month, yeah. but you know, we don't plan it once a month. But it, no. it's just kind of where it falls. It's it's kind of like we just know. I'm like podcast. Yeah. It's been a while. You yeah. know. We just. Yeah. Whenever we feel like it, really, or whenever we have time. Yeah. But episode so, twelve, so that's embar- that's. I was gonna say embarrassing. I wish I could think of something that we would put put something on the line for these picks. Like if you pick the winner, yeah, you, let's, you get. Let's but wage. I don't. I don't know what it would be. Let's wage something. <sighs> like ten bucks each to the whoever just, picks the winners. Just remember, we said I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> or I don't know. I can think of something. Yeah, how we might have to do this off air because yeah. this is gonna take too much thinking, yeah, and we'll keep you updated. Yeah. But uh, how's everyone's second beer going down? Mine's going down pretty good. This is going down. I told Jared, I said, it's kind of growing on me, mm-hmm. the beer. Don't question the raspberry. Still a 4.8, though. Don't question the holy. You know what? It's moving up to a 7.1 <laughs> for me. It's a good summer drink. It is. Yeah. All right. Um, one more sports question, and then you know we can wrap it up or whatever. I don't care. We can talk all night if I give a shit. <laughs> but um, as far as I'm fucking concerned... Um, I just wanted to get your opinion on, and maybe even yours. I really haven't talked to you guys about the whole LeBron departing situation. Mm. Do you think that was his best move? I understand it. I'm not upset by it. He did what he told us he would do. He brought a championship to Cleveland. On the other side, I'm upset. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I. you always hope to keep the best player in the league, you know, I that, got that's gr- the goal. I got know? to grow up watching Jordan, and he was absolutely phenomenal. But, I mean, I was a little kid. I didn't really understand the game as well as I do now. Mm-hmm. So being able to watch LeBron, who physically is the greatest athlete I've ever seen, um, you know, was something I'll always look back and say I watched him in high school. I watched him in the NBA. Yeah. It, was, it was, you know, a fun yeah. ride. He's once in a lifetime. We definitely, yeah, yeah we're – or once in a generation, that's the rather. Best, that's yeah. the best basketball we're ever going to see played in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. And it sucks that it's gone. That's what makes me sad. But it's also, yeah, you can, you can look back, or you can look at LeBron now but, and not have that fucking hatred for no, him. No, because we got a, we got it, closure. Exactly. We got that championship. Exactly. That's all, like, I will, that's all we, anybody, we will keep that in yeah, our. Yeah, that's all anybody We'll keep wants. it in our keepsake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, like, him, like, seeing him in the Lakers, like, first time I saw him in a Heat uniform, it, like, it bothered me a yeah, lot. Yeah, a lot. Like, it fucking hurt. I had, mad, like, that's our fucking I had guy. mad disdain for yeah. LeBron James when he had that number yeah. six. Yeah, he's like a villain, Like yeah. a fuck, and you fucking hated him. Yeah, I just, and now, like, I see him in Lakers gear, and I'm like, you know what, whatever. Go to, you know. Still not thrilled about it. No. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy he's gone. No, no. But I'm happy he came back and got us a championship. Yeah. And, and it, he is on the tail end of his career, or leaning towards the tail end of his career. Yeah, and and the Cavs are. I think it's a little the easier. Are a They're mess. in a much better position than they were the first time he left. Yeah. Oh, most definitely to compete. I mean, they're not going to go on a twenty-seven game losing no. streak like they did. No. And have Jamario Moon be your top scorer with thirteen points oh, a game. We, we got <laughs> love you know. Jamario. We got we got Kevin Love, which is de- a decent. Yeah. Sign. Sexton looks like it, he's going to be solid. Sexton looks like he's going to be real yeah. solid. I mean, we might we might compete um, for an eight seed. You know, might yeah might. If not, I, I kind of hope we don't because we need that. Yeah. That that draft pick next year, but um, who knows? The only other thing that upset me about LeBron is is being on the wrong side of the bet we had. Oh like, yeah, what was know. the bet? Um, me and a few friends bet Jared and a few friends. Um, <laughs> Anonymous as hell. Yeah, well, instead of naming everybody, yeah. I bet I was on the side. We bet um, that LeBron would leave. They bet that LeBron would stay. So the bet is the winners get to go to Costume Holiday House. <laughs> And pick out costumes for the losers to wear, awesome. and we go bar hopping all day. Awesome! <laughs> Wait, has this happened yet? No, it hasn't uh, happened when yet. Can I come? And yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, just I think wanna... we're gonna do it around Fremont. Just yeah. you know, rent a van or a bus and have somebody drive us around and <laughs> fucking hit all the bars and 
These guys got to go in and drink. <laughs> Wait, so uh, who, <laughs> how many people? You, are you on the losing end? Yeah, there's four on the losing end, four on the winning end, I think. Oh, my yeah. God. What an awesome it's like, bet. It's like Jared, Tom, Paul. I don't know. I don't remember right, which side Paul was Paul on. And, like Rocket. Rocket. I think and, Nando might have been in there somewhere, but I think Nando I don't was on which, your side. Yeah, I, don't I think remember. it was like Nando, you, Brad, and my dad. Then okay, yeah, I would have been for him leaving. I I knew he was going to leave. I mean, come well, on. we bet this the day that um, the trades went down when we got all those guys coming, and you know, like Tom or and somebody else, like you know, well, he got what he wanted. They they just got younger. He's going to stay. We're like. He's gone. And that's, mm. we start, they're like, all right, let's bet then. And then, you know. Uh, who came up with the costumes idea? That's awesome. I think we all did. We were just really? like, I don't know who did, but we were saying stuff that we should bet. Actually, I think Tom did. It's a fun idea, though. It's something that's different. That's great. It's, yeah. it's something, you know, you yeah. don't usually put on the line. Because it's right. not it's not like money. Because I don't want you guys' money. I want your humiliation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I need. Yeah. Yeah, so that that will be fun. There will be pictures of that, I'm yeah, sure, whenever just, it happens. Yeah, I'd be, like to be invited to that for sure. If you guys go, let me know. Be gentle. Somebody somebody <laughs> said no drag, which I was like, okay, I don't want to see any of you guys in drag anyway. Get some, so. get some fake titties. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Costume Holiday Shop always had the fake, just the fake tits? Yeah, and the asses. Yeah. <laughs> Who's buying those? <laughs> I don't know, but I always licked them. I have licked them? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't right. Once. Okay. I didn't. You I've, were a little freak. <laughs> I've actually never set foot in Costume Holiday House. In my what? Life. Never. Oh, man. Do you even freak? You got to go in there just for the rubbery smell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this kid loves licking rubber the tits. Ma- the masks. Don't know why. I've just never gone in there. That's amazing. Where do you get your costumes from? <laughs> <laughs> Kmart? Oh. <laughs> Sandusky Mall. Oh. Um, no, I didn't. Big shot. I made them. Homemade costumes, yeah. All right, I have <laughs> one more question for Jared. And will you be honest with me? Maybe brutally honest. Right, am I supposed to shake your hand right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> He's got an Apple Watch on. Yes. Does that get the internet? Uh, not really. Kind of. It. it what it happened? It Bluetooths to my phone. Can you get porn on that thing? Is what I was. Gonna- <laughs> can you can you browse the web? <laughs> No, you cannot. You can't get porn no. on those? Damn. That would be cool. <laughs> really, like, <laughs> really the only internet type deal I even. So, what's the point of having an Apple Watch if you can't even Tell time. watch porn on it? <laughs> Tell time. You can um, phone, make phone calls. You can make phone calls. So, you're talking to your watch? Check the weather yeah. all the time. Like it, Star Trek? It tracks my uh, activity, my heartbeat, tells me how fat and. Out of shape I am. That's amazing that we have devices that can hey. track shit like that. Where, like, at night when I sleep, it yeah, tells your me sleep my rhythms sleep and patterns pat- yeah. and all that. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool as shit. Let me think. What else? I have Pong on there, the game Pong. Oh, you got Pong? Yeah. Can it help you with, like, your golf? Like, the, the not, like, beer pong, the, the brick breaker Pong. Yeah. Like, the original. Now, is that a part of your, like phone plan or is that like a separate gig this is it has nothing to do with phone since it bluetooth if i got one that had internet then it would become part of the phone plan um i just bought this oh. at walmart it was like 150 bucks so that's all bluetooth yeah it, oh i was thinking no. you had like data on that thing no it it just hooks up straight to your phone through bluetooth and you can like download apps on your phone that go to instantly, oh, you know okay. sync to that okay so really, there's no extra cost. It was one lump sum. No, that's yeah, that'd be the way to go. Mm-hmm. You know, because I feel like if you got an Apple Watch, most people have iPhones. Yeah. So why even yeah. have the Apple Watch? No. But if it's a Bluetooth thing where you can just sync the apps and then just have it there, yeah. You know that. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. You got anything else you want to go over? I don't know. I think I'm good. I think, I think this has been a successful cast. It's been a great podcast, guys. Yeah. I've had a really good time. Interesting discussions. Mm-hmm. Funny moments. I think we covered the spectrum. Yeah. Burn ourselves out. We had sports, shits. Shits. <laughs> lots of... Mad libs. We did a mad lib. Lots of ass talk. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. Well, you want to... Appreciate you guys uh, bringing dude, me on. Yeah. Thanks for... Honestly, time. thanks for being here, man. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. awesome that you're... What else am I going to do? It's always better with a guest. And a fan of the show, you know? Fan. <laughs> fan. President of the fan club. So many fans. All the fans that we have. President of the Jack Lawrence fan club. What's that from? Uh, Benchwarmers? No. Uh, Screwed. Oh, Norm MacDonald? Wow. Yeah. Never would have got and that. Dave Chappelle. One Dave Chappelle. Yep. 
and uh, Danny DeVito. Yeah. He was president of the Jack Lawrence fan club. <laughs> it's it's uh it's always sunny. September thirteenth. Yeah, I think so. Comes out. Yeah, yeah. I'm stoked for that. Yeah. You're, you watch good. it's always sunny. I watched like the first six or seven seasons, and I just kind of ran dry on it. Yeah. Um, but I own like the first six or seven seasons. On you DVD. own them. I do. Wow. So he was. And I, I. How did you go from owning half the box <laughs> I, set I to know. going dry on it? I don't know, but I, I love Charlie Day. Like I think he's. He was probably one he's of good. my. He's what drove the show for a long time. But I think Dennis is my favorite character. Yeah, he yeah. Is, Dennis he's is so, definitely he, my just favorite. The, the longer the show runs, the more psycho he yeah, is. Yeah, he's fucking mm-hmm. psycho off the wall. <laughs> all pissed off all the time. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we yep, we got some food to cook. We got a game to watch. Um, yeah, we'll send you all. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll put the outro in. I forgot about that. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed everything. Um, Jared, thanks again for coming. Yeah. Thanks for the beers. Yeah. Let's get holy with it. Let's finish this shit. And Happy we will Sunday. see you guys next time on episode 13. Peace out. Peace. Peace.